and welcome, welcome, welcome to Pop Stash Pop. So today we're gonna do some country and in country music, we need to know how to strum. So click that link down below. It is a strumming video that is not on YouTube. Even if you're beginner, intermediate, really I hear will help you how to think about strumming. Maybe, you know, work on that right hand, how to count. So in developing rhythm, which we need to play songs, it will help you out a bunch. But this song is really awesome. Basic, a little swung, which is kind of fun. That kind of thing going on, which is another great rhythm technique that is in tons of country music songs. So, open position chords here. I know you all can do it. Let's zoom in for a closer look and give it a shot. All right, so here we go. We got an A chord. E chord. And a D chord. Now a lot of times in uh, you know a lot of different types of music, this is not really a full D. Now you can do the full D totally correct, but a lot of times people will just play down to that B string. Right? Cool open sounding chord. So the rhythm. Kind of swung, right? It's not. It's. Right, so that's kind of what we're shooting for. That kind of swung feeling where it's like almost like a train, it's it's rolling, right? So we're aiming for that effect. Now what we're gonna do, so in the simplest form we can go. Again. And then. Right, so we're doing the same strum pattern for each chord, with the exception of the D, which we're just chaining two of the strum patterns together, and we bridge those together by a a down up mute. So we got Okay, and then we just start over. So, the introduction into the song, right, with the little bow bow bow, bow that real cool little line they got there. Same chords underneath. A E D, right? So then after that, it's going to play that two more times, which is the verse. And then wait, there's more after that. It's going to play it again for the chorus, which is awesome. You don't have to learn anything. And by the way, just a little side note. I love country music videos because it's always the same. It's like a fun, cool song. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the hottest girl next door. Not that that's all that matters, you know, you ladies out there. The most beautiful and intelligent, fun-loving person next door who's just really secure with themselves and smoking hot at the same time goes down into the country and automatically bathing suit in the river having the time of your life i mean wow so anyways where are this is a guitar lesson never mind all that rubbish okay so here we go now if you notice i'm adding a little more in there which you by all means can do as well Okay, so again, intro, verse, chorus. The only thing that gets us out of the chorus, which is different, is this little move right here. Right, so all we're doing is pretend you're making a D chord. Well, actually make a D power chord and just go down one fret. So that's four and seven. And you're gonna go four and seven. D chord, which is five and seven, or you know you can do it like this, and then into the transition. Now the transition is just an A, just like you're going to play the progression at the same time, and then you end up doubling up on the A to start 
the verse again. So let me show you what I mean. So we're coming out of the chorus. Okay, so back into verse and chorus, everything's the same. The only other part of the song is a bridge and it's just E to D. Now, all we're doing there, same thing, E. I'm going to switch to D. And then build on D. And that literally is it. Very easy. So remember, it's all A, E, D. Intro, verse, chorus, the end of the chorus. Throw those guys in there. Silent, back into transition. Back into verse. Right, same thing. Then you get into the next chorus, which has the same progression for the little solo part too. Then you go into the bridge and then you are home free. Same thing, business as usual. Yes, don't forget that strum link down below. It'll help you. I, I, I don't quite go over the swung stuff in that, but that's gonna be part too so stay tuned for that as well and remember the goal keep it positive keep it fun keep it loving let's teach everybody how to play guitar and get along and have fun worldwide jam session awesome so anyways you guys are amazing thank you thank you so much from from way down here down here for all the love, support, and the comments. You guys are amazing. I totally am stoked doing this for you. Let's have a fun time together. We will catch you next time.